اول علمه اتم لوح بخواب و تکاتو تو به طرح تا ادوام این لوح لبنامه لبنام باید به نیمر و های ادنا لبنام لبنام الکل هارت و یا محوی ادنا خواهد و شما خواهد خزق و بارو خزق و شما اسرائیل ادنا لبنام لبنام خواهد Welcome to Rabbi Tzai. Welcome to the Netz Minyan. I want to tell you a couple of things. First of all, number one, regarding the saying of Misha Berach for the Cholim on Shabbat, okay, the truth is that some Kehilot have the custom to say Misha Berach for the Cholim. But the Halakha says not like that. Halakha says, the Shulchan Ruch, that we don't say Misha Berach for the Cholim on Shabbat. Why? Because Shabbat here me rizok, refuak krova levo. What does that mean? It says in the Shulchan Ruch that you're not allowed to pray for Cholim on Shabbat. This is why when we go to do Bikr Cholim, you're allowed to do Bikr Cholim on Shabbat to visit the sick. You can go to the hospital and visit the sick. But you cannot pray for them. So what do you tell them? It's going to come soon. Don't worry. I can't pray for you today. It's Shabbat. I can't pray for you. But the Rifwa will come. That's what we tell them. That's exactly what we say. Also, it says in a different place in the Shulchan Ruch, that it says over there that uh, you can only pray for a sick person on Shabbat if he's in Sakana, if he's dangerously ill. Some people you know, are telling people over here that only if he's in bed, if he's in bed. No, bed, being in bed is not enough. You have to be dangerously ill. Sakana. If there's Sakana, we pray for him. Otherwise, we don't pray for him on Shabbat. This is the best way. Shev al adif, number one. Number two, what our friend said regarding the Kaddish, right? What happens like this? Sometimes people don't say the Kaddish together. They should try to say it together. You're right, of course. They should try to say Kaddish together. But let's say if they, they can't, but let's say somebody came in late and he started the Kaddish late. So how do you do? How do you answer? One is saying, Amen Yisham Abba. One is first saying the first Amen. How do you answer them like this? Says the Shulchan like this. What you do is, if they're saying it like close together, like almost together, like in other words, it's not more than two seconds between one and the other, so you can answer one amen for both of them. You know, and this way you can be, you'll say dikh about both. But if they're far apart, more than two seconds, more than three seconds, so then what you do is each, you answer each one by itself. You know, amen, 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 amen. What can you do? There's nothing else you can do. There's no other way. You have to, you have to answer every amen. You have to answer every one of them. So there's no, there's no choice. What can you do, right? That's the way it is. But of course, if you try to say it together, if they can, <laughs> this makes it much better for everybody. That's, that's the way to, to do, the proper way to do it. That's not number two. Number three also, I must tell you, you know, you have to understand, Rabbi Tai, that Talmud Torah can get kulam. That's what the Chazal said. One word of Torah is worth more than uh, Kaddish, uh, is worth more than, more than Mila. One word of Torah. So if you have a choice to go to Divrei Torah or to Kaddish or Mila, Divrei Torah is, comes before everything. That's what it is. It's not true, Bemet. You know, Divrei Torah comes first. That's the way it is. You know, so the, therefore a person has to go, if he has to leave, if a person has to leave, you know, let's say he has to go, he has to go home. What's better to hear, Divrei Torah or Kaddish? Divrei Torah is better, of course. Because oh, according to Halakha, you don't need more than one Kaddish in the end of the Amidah. You need Kaddish to Kabbal, that you, 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 you fulfilled your obligation. That's the way it is, you know. So therefore, really, the truth is, Talmud Torah can get Kulam, it's more important than anything else. So Baruch Hashem, we should listen to that. And that's why we say, right, that's exactly what we say in the Tefillah, to remind us every day. What does that mean? If you learn halachot every day, two halachot, for sure you'll be ben olam abba. You'll be for sure in olam abba. You know, it doesn't say about kaddish like that. It doesn't say about mila like this. It says about the Tal- the Talmud Torah. You know, especially halachot. You understand? I'm sorry. That's what we do. That's exactly. What, <laughs> that's exactly what we're doing. God bless you. So this is the thing. You know, so a person has to understand that. Uh, one more thing I want to tell you also, if, if, if you guys, okay, we'll do it, Mr. Hashem, some other time. We'll do it next time. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen, Amen, Chazak Ubaru.